Hello and welcome to Drawing with Jesse. Today we are going to draw this baby cow. I um I thought I thought that would be kind of sweet. And So if you can hear me and you can see the stream, please chat a little hello. And um, my alarm going off saying it's time to get started. Okay. So while I am checking to make sure I am really, really live, um, feel free to chat. What is your favorite no November activity? Or if you prefer, uh, let me know if you get excited about seeing eggnog or hot apple cider <laughs> this time of year. <laughs> I am a big fan of both and okay so I'm gonna give people a couple minutes to find me and once you find me leave a little chat so I know you're there and uh, raise this a little bit so I have a nice fresh page Got over eager and started scribbling already. So. And um, so I thought it would be neat to continue this sort of close up the portrait of the animals. I use my own photos um, in my own personal work. I always use my own photos if I'm working from photos. Um, and sometimes, well, a lot of times when I am doing a workshop or, um, or doing this YouTube show, I'll use some beautiful photos from people who share them out willingly for that sort of thing. And, um, the quality of the photos is so much better but the reason I use my own photos when I'm doing my own work is um, just for fuller ownership of the work um, that I was involved in the whole process from taking a picture all the way up through um, to finishing a drawing or a painting. And so this guy, this is a local cow and I got a photo of it and, um, and so you can tell it's not professional quality by any means imaginable, but, um, but there's still a sweetness in there. So let's see how we're doing. I am going to give people a couple more minutes to find me. And so if you find me, leave a chat so I know that you're there and I will start sketching. And let's see.
Okay, I'll give people a couple more minutes to show up, and if this just isn't a bad day, or a good day for people, might uh, wait till next week to draw this sweet little cow. So. Oh, hello! <laughs> uh, so chat a little hello if you can hear me, or thumbs up, so I know that's working. Hi, cars, how are you? And I thought it'd be really fun to draw this little baby cow in more of a portrait. Um, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> oh, and let me get rid of that text on the cow. And there we go. <laughs> okay, so I... I have grabbed charcoal um, sort of randomly and let me know what you're drawing with today and I always have this conflict do I rotate my paper or do I elevate my paper so it stays flat today I'll just elevate it it's really fun having your paper in the orientation you want and, oh my gosh, I have some super exciting art news, but I'm not sharing it yet because I, um, I don't want to jinx it till it's really set in stone. <laughs> uh, but I hopefully will have some good news art, art uh, career-wise that I can share sometime in the next couple weeks. And so I'm just getting oriented. And so I like to start out by just, I'm really just looking as hard as I can and trying to get a sense of where things are. And so I'm kind of looking at that nose. This is almost like a blind contour drawing, but not quite blind. <laughs> And um, just looking and looking. And one of the main things I'm trying to do is see what do I like? What's interesting? What's there? What am I even seeing? And um, <laughs> thank you, Carson. <laughs> I feel like I should have some suspenseful music or something. Yeah. Um, and so... What is lovely about this guy? Well, one thing that I find really challenging, I have painted this cow a couple times and the ears are really challenging because they're forward a little bit, which makes this one appear much bigger than this one. And it makes 100% sense in a photo because it's a photo and you just kind of believe it and don't worry about, um, you know, does that look right or not? But once it's drawn or painted, it looks so strange. And um, there's something about the light illusion of this ear that is a real challenge. So I am not going to use any hard marks on either ear until I'm totally satisfied with where they are. Um, just because I know that that is a big challenge for me. Let's see. I almost feel like this should be a cartoon cow. <laughs> uh, and let's see. So I'm just trying to get closer and closer to what is this shape? The nose, it's this little muzzle that really sticks out a long ways. It's kind of delicate. It's really dainty little muzzle. And this is a very young cow. It's standing next to one that's much, much larger. And let's see. So what do you think? Where do you weigh in on special November things? Do you get really excited about... Um, hot chocolate or eggnog or 
hot apple cider. <laughs> I love all that stuff. And, uh, and so I, I think that's a lot of fun. And let's see, there's this little lip. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. Little lip. And how funny that... <laughs> <laughs> it's always really interesting that out of just a couple lines, you start to see something. And, and okay, there's this nice shadow on the cheek. And then one thing that can be really fun to play with, I think, is um, the shadows on the white versus the shadows on the red and um and then a shadow that carries across both um both colors i think that can be really lovely and fun the the markings on this cow are pretty interesting let's get this kind of necklace here okay so there's the darker area and then the shadow that comes across both <laughs> I will drink hot chocolate any time of year also. Um, <laughs> oh, Carissa, she had cider with a little caramel in it. Oh, that sounds wonderful. That sounds really good. I don't, I'm not sure I've ever tried that, but I will. I will now. So the nice thing about using a pencil or, um, or charcoal is that you can get one thing down and then put something else on top of everything. So I can get the darker area here and then just put a shadow across everything and um, kind of separate out the process a little bit. Um, okay, so my paper is fairly slick. It's, it's funny when I use dark pencils or soft pencils, it's impossible to erase on this paper. But when I use charcoal, I just wipe and it's gone. It's it's really funny. And oh boy, so there's it looks almost like the ear goes up and out, but the more I look, the more I can see that it's actually a red bit back here that's just kind of um it looks very similar to the value of the grasses back there. So it's kind of disappearing and you know what, if it wants to disappear, that's fun, fun, fun. Okay. That, and then, so this year is really coming forward and I feel like what we see in the photo doesn't really show it coming forward the way that it is. Um, but it's so short. It's obviously foreshortened. Um, so I'm just going to wait on the structure of it. And I think it's better. I am happier with my work if things I just cannot see right, if I just leave them out. And so um, I won't really go further than this unless I suddenly see <laughs> more clearly. And uh, I think ambiguity in artwork is really fun. It, it works with my style and with my way of thinking about art and sort of the job of the artist versus the job of the viewer. And so a little ambiguity 
does it bother me, but, um, but what really bothers me is when I try to draw something clearly and, um, and it's something about it feels wrong. I don't like that. So, um, yeah, for me, I'd just rather have it not be drawn than have it be drawn in a way that I don't feel confident about. Um, and let's see. And, you know, sometimes in my experience, it takes a several tries with a, a piece of material. So like with this photo, it takes me several tries sometimes to get more and more comfortable with the idea of leaving things out, leaving things kind of unsaid. So, okay, I love these eyelashes. It's so beautiful. And so, let's see. They are... I might do some like smudge around business and then erase these eyelashes. I, they're so cool. Alrighty. And let's see. There's this cool kind of X right on his nose. Oh, I love that. And let's see. Yep, 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 yep. Gosh. So much fun drawing this guy. <laughs> So much fun. Okay, and then let's see. Maybe he needs a little bit of body and not just a very skinny neck. Hmm. <laughs> the very skinny neck's kind of fun right here. It was unintentional. <laughs> but it's like a little bit of a giraffe cow. <laughs> I think it's a new... Um, um, what do you call the the animals where you can buy and like uh um different real animals to make something interesting and and uh, magical <laughs> i don't know but anyways for a few minutes here at least here's the giraffe cow let's bring him up so we'll immortalize him <laughs> okay <laughs> Um, gosh, you know, that's hilarious. I, I feel like I'm going to give him some body, but I'm going to let him be as he is for a few minutes just because it's really cracking me up. And while I'm letting him be his own sort of supernatural creature here, I'll get in a little bit of the shadow under his, his, uh, cheek here. And I want to make sure that this stays in a lighter range than the shadows on the reds. Here, I'm going to tone this down a smidge. And let's see, I might darken up the shadows in, in the reds a little bit. You know, next week I might bring a black and white photo to work from. That might be really fun to, you know, with photos, you're already getting rid of the element of, you know, trying to sort out something three-dimensional and make it two-dimensional. But, um, but also if it was, black and white as well. I feel like that would be kind of a big advantage. Okay, so here we go. A little bit of this just darker part on the chin just because it's so pretty. 
and so the red part I really want that to be different just because it's something I love in the photograph that there's this shadow going across the red markings and then there's also the shadow going across the the white area and there we go <laughs> a hybrid yes <laughs> I love it yep <laughs> slender move <laughs> Oh, fantastic. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, beast of myth and lore. <laughs> Cryptid. I love all these. And there we go. So are you doing some sort of a giraffe cow? Or are you going for full cow? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious. And and alrighty, let's see. I have to give that a minute to see how I feel about the lines going this way and that way. That might be too much lines. And I'm not trying to erase here. I'm just trying to soften up. I love this buttery quality. It might be fun to just get some of that in all the white bits. And I know just from staring at a lot of cows, it goes down like this and then back. It almost looks like, you know, the line just goes down and keeps going. Um, I don't know. It's just this funny optical illusion, which is kind of fun. Okay, so I'm just trying to make this a little bit butterier, and it has this, um, you know, there's something about charcoal that's been rubbed in that just has this, I don't know, creamy, wonderful quality. It's, you know, it's not even about the smoothness of it, it's just this butteriness. Um, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's really fun. And right. and let's see. And a little bit of the background. I haven't decided if it needs to be buttery or not, so I'm just gonna rub it in <laughs> with my finger so it's get more of that grainy, grainy quality okay and so let's see this redness continues up here but it's not in the shadow so I'll just kind of shadow part not in the shadow part a little bit lighter and then over here, I'm not going to try to fuss with the dark and light over on that ear. And, yep. Okay. <laughs> I feel like this needs some eyes, at least one eye, possibly a nostril. But it kind of, I think it's funny, like you expect, if you've got a portrait, the eye is the main thing. And so I just like to enjoy the silliness of having a portrait with the eye missing <laughs> for just a minute before <laughs> adding that in. Because I think any part of the drawing that makes it fun or silly, might as well embrace that. Um... <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm just so torn. 
I think it's too funny having this uh, accidental cow giraffe. I think I might leave them that way. And, you know, the part that, you know, if I just outlined the body, it would, um, you know, it's right back here. I don't even see that. Ah, too funny. Oh my gosh. Oof, sorry. Spam. So much spam lately. Ah. And so I think I might address that eyeball. So cow eyes are really far apart. And let's see. There's some symmetry here. Like the ears are kind of, let's see, are they? So I'm just looking at how everything lines up together. The mouth is at this kind of angle. The nose, the eyes are at this kind of angle. And the ears, this guy. There's both ears. This is such a shabby photo. <laughs> I hope you don't mind the shabbiness of it and you, you're entertained by it for the same reasons I am. Um, but, uh, okay, so the eyelashes are starting at about the same level on both sides and kind of ending at the same level. Um, and then there's this area in front of the eye the, that comes down quite far and let's see like that and like here just kind of looking for the symmetry and then also like am I getting them far apart enough I don't think I am Let me try again so I'm gonna look for some more landmarks <laughs> I would, I would like to embrace the new cryptid. <laughs> How fun would that be? Go give him a little hug. But yes, <laughs> mentally we can also <laughs> embrace him. Yeah, just let him be a cryptid. All right, here we go. So I'm looking at how the eye, the inside of the eye relates to the ear above it and I'm just like looking and marking and looking and marking until I feel comfortable with yeah yeah that feels like the right spot and so the nose gets really narrow up here but back here the eyes are so far apart and then let's see about these eyelashes and the eyelashes oh my gosh so scrumptious and they kind of go off at a pretty steep angle. Here, let's see. Oh, what beautiful eyes this guy has. Oh. I think this is one of those situations we've looked at animals so much where the things that make that animal really gorgeous are things that we don't appreciate in humans but with cows these eyes these really are <laughs> everything we appreciate in human beauty like the big eyes the big eyelashes you know and so when you start to really look at this part of the photo it gets real strange to, to stare at. So I'm going to, I feel like there's some like just photo issues that make that weird, like a little compression or something. So I'm just going to add some darkness here. Um, a little bit of shadow right around and something for the eyelashes to stand out against since they're so stark and white and also really pretty shape. And then maybe just get dark in a couple spots. 
Maybe like right up here. Oh, I've got two sharp then. Alrighty. A little better point. And sharp point. There's nothing better for getting your marks in the right place. <laughs> like, and it says when they start going in the wrong place. It's it's the sharpness. And so there's this nice kind of little darkness right in here. Well, it's been a while since I've reported on Dozer. He has been so silly and feisty lately. He, uh, he's, he's not a lap dog. He, um, he will put up with being on a lap for about two minutes. <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, this isn't my thing, guys. <laughs> but uh, he's been a real sit on your feet kind of dog the last couple of days. And, um, and also still equally demanding, like his nose has gotten amazing. It's like now that he can't see if anybody is eating anything, he can smell it. And he knows that he he will get <laughs> the food <laughs> he goes and says hey give me that <laughs> so is that uh, he would be kind of a terror but he's so cute so like, okay yeah and it's funny like you don't think of lettuce as having a smell but he can tell if you get the lettuce out <laughs> you're trying to make a salad and he wants it and uh yeah or anything else for that matter yeah it's so surprising it's been a year this month since he was given like a you have no time kind of a diagnosis and um so we're just appreciating every every day and and uh yeah and Yeah, he's a little teeny guy though. He's he's down at the weight that uh, we were first told he should be at, but it's it's not really a happy thing in this way. But he's so easy to just kind of pick up and haul around now. He's he's a little like shin high dog for anybody who hasn't met Dozer before. So when we got him, uh, the vet said that he weighed. 35 pounds I think and he was supposed to weigh 22 pounds <laughs> and they go oh, that's a lot <laughs> and uh, so we managed his food so much for six or seven years and uh, he hardly I think he lost like two pounds but now he gets whatever he wants uh, yes, yes. So Chris asked if he likes lettuce. He loves it. He loves lettuce. He he likes different stuff different days, though. So if one day he loves lettuce, the next day you try to give him a piece and it's like, yeah, no, nope, no. Nope. Um, but in general, he loves lettuce and um, he likes cooked carrots, but not um, not uncooked carrots, broccoli. He'll go nuts about He's gotten kind of weird in his eating. He he stole a piece of he stole a piece of raw onion off my plate and went running um, yesterday. <laughs> I made a, a sandwich and the onion had kind of fallen off the side and 
<laughs> and uh, I didn't think it'd be any issue when he came and started like sniffing around my plate, but he just grabbed it and ran. And uh, so I, I don't know what to say about that. That was weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, and they like the crunchy bits of the lettuce, like the, um, the heart of the lettuce. Um, so basically the stuff that you, you don't usually put in your salad anyways. Yeah, both of them do. Both of our dogs love lettuce a lot. And, uh, you know, it's not like giving them peas where they take them and hide them in the corner. <laughs> they just, they scarf it. And, uh, okay, I'm just trying to get a better grasp of what exactly is happening. And I think, and again, you know, I think this is one of those situations I can't totally see. And so I am going to leave what I can't see out and I just know that that will make things more interesting and a lot better than if I try to fake it and and there we go It does have this like all these different shapes on the face in these areas it's really interesting the more you look the more interesting that cow looks it's really cool so there's this light coming across here and then this shadow right behind it so interesting and Alrighty. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm just getting more and more specific here. And down in here, it's like it's not paper white. I mean, the cow might be very, very white, but the shadows are making it quite a bit darker. Let's see. I kind of feel like keeping the scribbles in it. Let's see. That eyeball. Hmm. Trying to decide. I think I want that eyeball to be a smidge bigger and then just a hint that there is an eye down here. Okay, now you can't see it, but I'm just going to kind of hint at it. And. Yeah. Here, I'll just kind of hint at the eyeball behind the eyelashes. <laughs> okay, I feel like I should stop working on this guy. I, I just think that's really fun. So I'm going to put the date on there. November 30th. November 30th, 2021. And um, so if you are watching this later and you draw along, feel free to leave comments. I answer all of those. Um, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your week. Uh, thanks, Cars, for drawing with me and chatting and... Um, <laughs> And coming up with great names. I love it. And um, and so for anybody who wants to know more about me, you can find out about my workshop um, or about my artwork at jessierashi.com. And right now I have um, some smaller works and studies that are available 
uh, right now first just to newsletter subscribers and then I'm going to make those open to the public uh, very soon. Um, some of them. Some work I never put out for the public, um, little studies and things sometimes, but anyways, you can find out all about that stuff at jessierashi.com. And thanks so much for joining me, and um, I hope you had a lot of fun drawing. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I'm so glad it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, I hope it's a congrats. Oh. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> uh, well, cool. Um, have a wonderful week. <laughs> and um, there you go. And enjoy that caramel cider. Oh, that sounds wonderful.